So before enrolling with the highway, as Amy had mentioned, uh, it's good to think about the use case that you're looking to bring to life, if you will. So a use case, if you're not familiar with them, is really an easy to understand description detailing the interaction of an, of an actor. Right? This could be a human, an organization, or a system, and the system under consideration. So for highway purposes, it really identifies a set of trading partners and source and destination systems and describes how they intend to use the map highway. Um, when you think about some of the benefits of use cases, they're really developed with a goal in mind, which makes them a really helpful planning tool. Um, it also helps to identify the clinical and business needs before solution development. You know, we all hate rework and delays, and this helps mitigate those, those concerns. It also facilitates initial scoping, uh, project planning, and effort prioritization. Uh, when you start developing kind of the, your, your scenario or your story, you start to realize all the work that's actually involved in this and you start to understand what are those long lead items that you need to start working now, like working with your vendor. That's not something you may uh, solve the problem by tomorrow. It may take you a couple months to get where you need them to be. It also supports selling your request to management. Uh, you know, having your senior leadership team on board with this is really important because this really is an organizational change effort. Uh, and it really shows you've done your due diligence to articulate the value, not just the functionality you're looking for. And it also helps you support the identifying the project team and the stakeholders. So we've got a number of grantees uh, that are doing a lot of pioneering work on the highway. Uh, we awarded 32 grants, and these are a sampling of the use cases that they are using um, in working to build into the highway. And, and a number of them really bubble to the top. So the idea is that you could be sending information, you could be receiving information, or you could be doing both. But in either case, uh, a care summary uh, referral requests and hospital discharge summaries were really the top use cases that we that we saw. And a, certainly a number of other ones around medication reconciliation, um, image notifications, uh, exchanging of labs, uh, submission of public health registries, all are some other examples of different kinds of use cases that people are working on. And, and we hope to write up some case studies that will uh, be available for you. Uh, and we're also working on building out a use case library that you may be able to reference at a later point in time. But all of it is really gearing toward building stories, right? So you, it really takes a fair amount of work to bring a use case to life, and ultimately that's working toward achieving some particular outcome. This is a, a sampling of some of the, uh, the work that we're working on out in uh, Western Mass with the folks at Berkshire Health and Bay State. They're working on reducing duplicate tests for high acuity cardiovascular patients. Down the Springfield area, they've got a, a number of organizations working on readmissions, uh, reducing readmissions, and improving care management for heart failure patients. Out in Worcester with UMass Memorial uh, Medical Center and CVS Minute Clinic, they're working on sharing information between the two for shared patients. Uh, the folks down in Milford Regional Medical Center are working with their skilled nursing facility and home health care to improve transitions of care by sending discharge summaries. And then here in the Boston area, uh, we've got um, the Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program is working with Ease Care, an ambulance service to improve pre-hospital transport and care coordination for the homeless. And then we have a couple health plans involved in this as well. And one of them, Network Health, is working with Brockton Neighborhood Health uh, Center to coordinate care plans uh, for the benefit of their shared patients. Now, we've developed a template that we think people may consider as they're developing these use cases. Um, and there's a number of questions you may ask yourself. So the first one is, why are you connecting to the highway? You know, articulate a goal. Is it for meaningful use, transitions of care? Is it for uh, other reasons, strategic, that you may have? What is the scenario that you're putting into place? So tell the story. You know, tell the story of, um, I'm a PCP. I need to send a referral request over the highway to my trading partner, the specialist, and that helps you with uh, doing a fair amount of scoping of what it is you need to do. Uh, who is your trading partner? Um, I can't tell you how many times I've talked to folks who joined the highway, but they haven't really identified who they want to share information with. Uh, it's really important to know who you want to share with. Uh, what systems or data sources are involved? Uh, what is the data being exchanged? Uh, are you sending, receiving, or both? So if you're sending, can you create the data set? Uh, if you're receiving, can you actually digest that data set? And these are a lot of questions. There's a lot of information behind these, but 
starting to address these questions early on and then perhaps using this template as a way to work through those questions uh, may be a way to make sure you move uh, rapidly through this process. And just a couple of final thoughts. Amy mentioned that there's a website out there, uh, masshighway.net. You can see a listing of the current uh, highway participants. Um, I encourage you all to engage your clinical and business leaders early. This is not just an IT project. Uh, it may be the connecting part, may be very IT-centric, uh, but the use case is certainly clinical and operational in nature. So engage them, get them uh, working with you early. Uh, and the Mass Highway, is, is this is new. Uh, and this is new to a lot of organizations, so uh, plan the time uh, to get this fully integrated in your practice. And I'd say look to what you're doing now. If you're faxing uh, a referral from a PCP to a specialist, consider that fax as your initial data set and figure out how to get that in or out of your EHR. Um, and there's a lot of privacy and security regulations that are out there, um, and you want to make sure you're well protected. The Mass Highway offers um, you more security to do what you do every day. Um, and then finally, determining your use case helps inform choosing your connection type.